Hey, good morning, First Christian Church. I, I hope you can hear me. I literally am standing 15 feet from uh, 45, and obviously you could tell there's a lot of traffic going back and forth. And uh, I was lucky, uh, right when I was going across one of the railroad tracks, another train was coming. So uh, just, just don't know when those trains come once in a while. And so I was very lucky to get through before the train hit. Anyway, so I uh, want to just reach out and say hi, and uh, it's good to see you, and I'm hoping that you're having a good day. It's beautiful outside, and I'm going to take full advantage of it late this afternoon. I'm going to go out and deer hunt for a little while, so that would be good. But uh, one of the things that you'll notice is that um, there's a lot of construction. There's a lot of stuff happening here in West Point. The town is growing. It's amazing to see how many restaurants and shops and everything that's happening right here on 45. And uh, I am standing in front of the new Zaxby's, which I can't believe how fast they put this building up. And the sign says that they're new, now hiring managers. So if you know of anybody who is looking to have a managerial position, Zaxby's is hiring. So that's awesome. So uh, lots of stuff going on in West Point. The town is growing, the church is growing, and we're excited about that. Uh, the people who are coming, there's a really good feel happening in the church right now. There's a, there's a unity. I'll get to that in just a moment as well. But uh, I wanna give you some announcements for this week. There's a lot going on for the end of the month. Now, don't forget, tonight at seven o'clock is His Glory meeting, and um, uh, make sure that you come to that. Uh, and then, of course, the cantata is going to be this Sunday. Uh, the cantata is, is going to be this Sunday at uh, 6. So make sure that you bring some finger food to share with everybody at the very end. And then, of course, there is going to be the Happy Birthday Jesus, which is going to be on the 17th. And that's going to be in the morning, so during uh, Sunday school and children churches, uh, ages 2 through 8. So um, make sure that you are there for that. And that's not even going to include this Sunday evening of um, the 24th. Of course, we're going to have a Christmas Eve service. So that's going to be at 6 o'clock as well. Or no, 5 o'clock, sorry, 5 o'clock. And uh, that should only last about a half hour. So uh, just, just giving you a heads up on some of the things that are happening. A couple, couple Sundays ago, we were finishing up the end of Hebrews, and we did chapter 12 and 13. And in chapter 12 of, of Hebrews, now, you have to kind of look at the context of, of who the book of Hebrews was written for. It was written for the Jewish Christians, where a lot of them were still trying to hang on or go back to the, the Jewish laws and the Jewish history and they were trying to hold on to that while still trying to embrace their Christian lifestyle. And the writer of Hebrews was like, hey, you, you, you can't do that. And you got to be aware of some things. And, and so he was warning them all the way through the book of Hebrews. And then he gets to chapter 12. And then he says this, listen to this, starting in verse 14, make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. See, that's the, that's one of the keys. It's one of the keys is that you got to make sure that you live in peace with everyone and you got to be holy. And one of the things about that is you got to make sure that you're living that lifestyle that's apart from everybody else. So don't get caught up in the world. Be holy. So that means separated, different. And, um, I hope you can still hear me, but uh, that is what he says they're due. And also he says this, without holiness, no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one falls short of the grace of God and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. Living at peace with everyone, being holy and not being bitter with anyone because that bitterness can spread. That bitterness can, can defile many. And, oh, thanks, Amy. Uh, but uh, that's the thing that we've got to make sure that we're, we're not doing is that we don't hold any resentment, that we don't hold any bitterness because that will transfer over to others. 
you're supposed to be living differently because how you live impacts others and we're supposed to be living at peace with everyone some good stuff I should preach out of second uh, out of uh, chapter 12 and 13 soon I just hope you'll be there it was good that Sunday night all right hey love you guys and uh, I will see you maybe tonight and uh, see you on Sunday all right have a great day and um, we'll talk to you soon all right bye everybody